This video was brought to you by Marcus Biel, Elbil Mac, Abadur Planner, Stolenberg, Camp Power, and Biel Componente. Yo, what's up? We're now at Myklagar. This is a little bit outside of Elbilum. And behind me here you see Neo EL6. This is the EL7's little brother. And we're going to start the range test by trying now how high is the consumption when it's freaking cold outside. Well, actually, it's not that cold anymore, but okay. So, yeah. We have a Nook and Hakoblita R5 EV tires. Um, actually, the EV tires, they have acoustic foam inside here. The regular non-EV doesn't have it. An R5, of course, yeah, 255. Um, fr front and rear is the same thing. Okay, look inside. Ooh. Okay, let's get inside. And women, you have to always do this before you enter the car, right? Then you get a nice marriage. Okay, turn off power key mode. So um, the plan, let me see, is to, if we go here, okay, look at the map. Oh man, it's always messed up. In the, okay, there. Okay, so we are here. We're gonna drive now a loop there and then over to Elvirum and then back again, that is 15 kilometer, but we'll do a double one, so it becomes 60 kilometers, we go long enough. And we'll do a 90 test and a 120 test. And over here is minus 11 degrees Celsius, so. And the problem with Chinese cars is that uh, they don't show you proper trip meter unless it's uh, MG4. But um, yeah, so you see, we have just a rolling average for the last 10 kilometer or the last 100 kilometer. And here we see, how many kilowatt hours spent at least and then they also divide on what was spent on and then here we have distance so based on the kilowatt hour here and the distance we can calculate the watt hour per kilometer so yeah and the way to reset it right away it's kind of clumsy this one here is to reset the total trip and then you need to have a just let me see Ah, wrong one. Okay, shit, shit. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> but that's for the resetting total here. But there is still no watt hour per kilometer or kilowatt hour per hundred kilometer. You know? So um, what we need to do is reset this one because now it's this point one. So uh, the, the, the way to reset is that uh, you, um, let me see how this again. You, ec you open a door and then you lift your butt. No, wait. I don't know how this. Lock. No, no, no. Wait, wait. Okay. I lock. I lift my butt now. And then I think the trick was that I'm floating with my butt and then I locked the car. The car. Yeah, yeah, there you go, there you go. Doom. And then sit back there. Yes, we have reset it. Okay, let's go. <laughs> okay, so now we cruise at 93 on the speedo, which is uh, 90 GPS speed. And uh, yeah, we have head up display here. Huh? Huh? We have instrument cluster. We have a round steering wheel. We have ambient light, we have massage, we have the queen's chair in here. Man, this is the true e-tron killer. Hmm, but uh, there is one small problem, you see it's minus 11 degrees, and when I try to use the wipers... Um, there's no juice coming out. I refill it uh, this evening, but um, um, maybe I didn't mix it thick enough. I think I mix it for around minus 15 degrees Celsius, but uh, I don't know what's up with this. Okay, anyway, um, as usual, because this is a Chinese car, it's doing the power fluctuation, the power, uh, the 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 yo-yo. Yeah, uh, for some reason it just goes like this, uh, plus minus five kilowatt, or I mean, yeah, or I mean the uh, plus minus uh, three, four kilowatt. Yeah, rather which is a bit annoying once you notice it, not okay. So now we will just turn around here and then that's what first part of the loop. Man, it's a nice and comfortable ride. And also fairly quiet. Could be because of the quiet tires, but uh, there must be some good soundproofing here also. But maybe I feel like it's not as quiet as EL7, the big brother, or the ET7, but still pretty good. And one thing I noticed is that Oh, now, okay, over here is minus 11 degrees. Is that the car, since it has some soundproofing, soundproofing also acts as insulation against cold. 
So I don't feel too cold in here. Maybe except for maybe a, a slight chill from above. But that's because this car has a, a panorama roof, but then we have this uh, fabric thing. Um, I want to check out in a the thermal camera once we're back at uh, Miglogai, see how it uh, looks, uh, what it looks like. Okay, we're about to hit the 10 kilometer mark. Let's see there, 2.8. Okay, that means 280 watt hour per kilometer. Holy macaroni, oh shit. Well, we're back at the starting point. 14.6 kilowatt hour, 8% on cabin comfort. And then here you see the distance, 57.6 kilometers. And also, let me see, I think it's, it's dropping now. The average, man, the swipe here is there. 82.3 kilometers per hour. Um, yeah, it's not the highest. I think it was more like 84, but oh, wait, wait, it's, oh, it's not counting when we are parked. Okay, that's good. But normally when I do a normal 90 test uh, and a longer loop, I will get around 88 kilometers per hour. So yeah, let me write down all these numbers and then we need to reset again. Oh, never mind. The average speed goes down, yeah, in chunks. Okay, um, well, not too interesting. Oh, see. And this one should also go up. But, man, why is it so hard to sweep? I'm gonna try something here. If I just unbuckle, if I don't open the door, just unbuckle and then lift my butt and then lock the car. Wait, where's the lock button there? Oh, no, okay, then it doesn't work. Okay, you actually have to open the door first and then lock, I mean, and then close the door and then you. Okay, uh, all right, all right, all right, okay. Yeah, this is the reset procedure. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, we are at the 10 kilometer mark and 380 watt hour per kilometer. Holy macaroni! Well, okay, um, but that's because we have lots of kinetic energy now. You know, we are traveling at 120 kilometers per hour. We started from standstill and then eventually we're going to slow down to standstill. So, of course, uh, the end consumption is not going to be 380. All right, so wait, 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 is it getting warmer? It's minus 10 degrees over here. Hmm. And the car does a pretty good job of staying in the lanes. You see, I don't even see the lines that well, especially on the right side there. Uh, there's just some salt schmutz on top, but the car can see the lane. You see, it detects something here. And also when it comes to a curve, uh, it doesn't slow down in the curve. Like, oh, but it's a bit nervous and oh, 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 the steering wheel is a bit nervous sometimes. Yeah, I've seen that also. Uh, so a little bit too nervous for my comfort. You don't have to drive that uneven. It's possible to drive quite smooth. But it's still a good uh, upgrade from before. I remember that uh, Neo, they used to slow down a lot in the curves. Uh, very common for t um, Chinese cars to do that. Oh, wait, uh, how, what, what did he detect on the side there? Huh, interesting. But there's no, well, okay. Ah, okay, hold steering wheel. All right. All right, the result this time, 19.3 kilowatt hour. But you see cabin comfort only 5%, not 8%. Hmm, okay. And if we look here, uh, yeah, 57.6 kilometers still. So let me see, I need to crunch all these numbers to figure out what the consumption was. And if you look at the thermal camera now, you see that, yeah, as expected, we have lots of heat coming up in the front, but in the roof here, okay, look, there's a cold spot. We have, oh, can you see that? Let me zoom in a bit. 17 degrees Celsius. Yeah, 15 there. Was well, it's a little bit warmer towards the front. But what about further back here then? Uh, 14 degrees Celsius, but you can see a quite significant uh, border there. You see? So this part here is a bit thicker, the solid roof part, and that one holds around 20, 20 to 25 degrees. So, uh, it's hard to see here, yeah, but if that's a problem, maybe you need better insulation if you live in really cold weather. Now it's only minus 10. So you know this car has 100 kilowatt hour battery and we are down to 44%. So I wonder how fast does this car charge? E-T5 Touring, it's supposed to take 185 kilowatt, right? What about this? Okay, uh, okay so I can drive. Okay, I need to drive it down. Um, 
If I draw over to garden one, I will suppose they arrive at 21%. Well, most likely lower than that. We can always bail out a little bit before. So, um, yeah, let's uh, go deep and see what kind of speed we get here. Oh, see, we are 48 minutes away, 80 kilometers away. And uh, the on route battery warm up uh, feature has been enabled, but uh, it hasn't started preheating yet. But what I heard is that you should preheat early. Uh, because it needs some time you see this one is so what we can do is we can manually preheat then you see the battery icon there and now preheating is active i'm not sure how many kilowatt it sucks well actually we will see it once we go and uh, maybe if we wait a while you see it here eventually battery here should go up okay so normally you need to i don't know preheat for about uh, one hour even half an hour is not uh, good enough especially now when it's minus 10 degrees outside we are now at garden one and uh, great news the wipers are working now i mean the wiper juice yeah so all right but um okay so you see we have this app here well i just recording my phone but okay so we have this app and if we click over here wait wait for it uh what what the heck happened there no, oh, I, I, I was scroll down. Yeah, <laughs> I'm a noob. <laughs> okay, but if you go to charting map here, okay, and then wait for it. There, there, there. You found something. Okay, let me see. No, which one is it? Um, just want to make sure it's the right location here. This one. Okay, this uh, total eight. Okay, recharge. Right, we have the camp power chargers. So, if you have um, bus, or I, I'm not sure how it works, but this is a press car account. So. You can start charging from here, but you see, we have NFC option. I need to test that, man. Okay, let me see. This is the first time I try it. Not sure if I'll be able to start everything. First, open the charge port. Wait, the charge port is usually... No, 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 no. Yeah, there's a button there. You press it via the, and the plug. Okay, well, let's see. So we have to find 565E, okay. Well, I mean 65E, okay. So you find 65E, we have do, 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 E here, okay, available. So I don't want to start from the app, I want to start, wait. How do I start with the NFC? Start with Neo app, okay. Where is the plug? Okay, I have to plug in. Wait, oh, okay, it just started via the app. Oh, I wanted to try NFC, I'm not sure how that stuff works. But let's see, if I just plug in the big fat cable now, oh shit. There. Okay, I think that's it. And then let's see now. What kind of speed do we get? Well, actually, we don't have to. We don't have to watch this. I want to check some voltage. Well, we can actually see the voltage also in the other side of the car. But let's see now. How long does a handshake take? There. Okay. Click here. Three hundred forty volts. Hmm. Okay, it's ramping up. It's been preheating all the way here. Oh, oh 105 kilowatt. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Let's see 185 kilowatt. Or not. Well, maybe I have to wait for it to ramp up. What the heck happened there? The lights came on. Uh, I figure out that the uh, NFC here means RFID. If you have an RFID card, you register it and then you can use that instead of uh, using the app. So it's not uh, it's not like you use the phone's NFC to connect. That would be pretty awesome. Does it even work like that? Hmm. Wait a minute. It's capped at 300 amp. Yeah. I just noticed now it's charging at 109 kilowatt. The problem is that uh, these uh, chem power chargers operated by recharge, they seem to be capped at 300 amp. Uh, recharge, I mean, sorry, uh, chem power other places, uh, for example in Sweden, also by recharge, like Jungschile, is 375 amp. And then uh, in Finland, the chem power running on, uh, well, it's called ABC, <laughs> that's kind of fun, right? Some shopping, uh, no, wait, some grocery store, they operate at 500 amp. So, uh, okay, but there's some uh, hypercharger over there. Let's test on those chargers, see what kind of speed we get. Whoa, look at this! 
176 kilowatt. <laughs> Game over. What the heck? Almost 500. Uh, 400. Ooh, it's begun. Holy macaroni. What kind of... Sp huh? Wait, how long can we maintain the speed? Wait, wait, wait. I shall not swap this battery. We need to keep this battery. Did we get an ET5 touring battery? <laughs> okay, but um, hmm, wait, wait, wait. Maybe I should uh, do a charging test then. Yeah, but then I have to discharge it. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, I'll figure out something. We're now at Ion Tidal, charging up, doing a charging test. Oh, <laughs> me show now. So, okay, over here we have the setup. Camera on the tripod. And, okay, I will not go in front of it, but look, look at that, look at that. Oh, I've never seen a Neo charge this fast before. I heard that it's supposed to be very nice and flat. Okay, let's document how flat it is. And while I'm doing charging test, I don't want to run HVAC because that will add to uh, extra kilowatt hour in the charger screen. And also uh, many cars, at least many well-designed cars, will pull extra power for the heater so it would appear as it would be charging faster oh what the heck no no shit we got that speed for just a little bit uh what are we then restricted to 126 kilowatt for the rest of the session uh, okay we'll see i'll just document this anyway but okay let me show you so all right anyway so what i do is that i bring ecoflow here yeah, yeah, yeah. ecoflow delta max See, I purchased this one a uh, long time ago for a uh, uh, zero mile test for when they run out of juice. But I realized that it is useful for a lot of other things like uh, heating up uh, pizza <laughs> or running the heater here. Yeah, first step here is 750 watts. Second step here is 1500 watts, but normally I only need 750 watts. And then the EcoFlow is around two kilowatt hour or I can run the heater for two hours, which is plenty. Charging session only takes one hour, usually. Wait a minute, wait a minute, we're back at 170 kilowatt. Oh, okay, that was a weird dip, huh? Is it going to yo-yo more like this? Okay, well, we'll see.